I have uh, with me Leif Frode Onaram. He was the president of BI from 1993 to 1997. Welcome, Mr. Onaram. Thank you. Uh, what would you say, describe as your primary task as a president? I think the most important thing was uh, economic problems. Mm. And we had to, to get into black figures again. Uh, and uh, of course, that's pretty tough in a uh, school like B BI. Uh, and to, to let someone go, uh, say to some a professor that probably you should look for other places to work. Mm. Uh, so that was a tough start. Uh, but it, it wasn't that heavy. So uh, after a year, I think we were on a good track. Mm. You introduced also systems for controlling the economy, budgeting. Yes, that's, that's right. And, um, uh, and it was pretty important because uh, I felt that some of the rules and regulations didn't work well, well in the organization. Is it a little um, comical that uh, a business school needs a man from, <laughs> from the businesses, from the industry, to clean up uh, the mess, so to speak. Well, to excuse them, <laughs> uh, they have been through some mergers, mm. and uh, very often uh, it isn't exactly as you thought mm. the other part is getting in. Mm. And um, uh, but but and I think they had been very busy to really. Uh, be, be more professional in, in uh, how to run the faculty and, uh, and to go into new types of, of education. Mm. You're also eager to um, connect BI to the Norwegian businesses and industry, the, the workplaces, so to speak. Yes. How did it go about that? That's right. Uh, of course, I had a good contact with, with, uh, with business, but... Uh, it was very important to increase that and to, to really uh, have good contacts, especially with, uh, with uh, medium and larger companies. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, it developed very well uh, in my period, but it has really been successful for going on. They have been very clever, uh, the presidents coming after me, to, to really have a very, very close uh, connection with mm. business. Mm. They say that uh, today's business candidates and economists are the best ever. Do you agree? <laughs> I think in general, schools are much better now than when I grew up. And uh, I think... Uh, you took your degree in 1960. Yeah, I, my degree was in 1960. And uh, I, I'm quite sure that the students now leaving BI have much, much more uh, in their head and in their, mm. in their body <laughs> about the econom economics and how they should uh, treat uh, people and how they should, uh, how they should uh, expand business. Mm. I think they know a lot about it. Mm. But uh, still, of course, it is that before we get out and really see it in the companies, uh, then you have the the uh, been through all the thing in on BI, but still you have to practice it, mm. and and of course uh, that takes some time before they really can use what they have learned uh, in the business. And the way business works, the economy works, is also much more complex now than much more it, complex. Mm. That's that's right, and. Uh, but but general, I think in general, I think they are much more clever than I was when I left <laughs> uh, Bergen. Uh, where are BI heading into the future? Do you think? What do you wish for your old institution? Uh, I'm very happy that they uh, are very international in their thinking, and I think that is more and more important. Uh, I hope also that they can be in the front uh, with all these new things coming up. Uh, we have to redesign a lot of, of uh, companies for how they are working. 
so I hope that they will be in front actually uh, with that uh, transfer. Uh, and uh, I have no reason to believe that they won't be it. Uh, so, and I think they, as they also are so international, I think that uh, helps them in, in seeing uh, what is the future uh, problems we have to, to, to address. Hmm. Thank you, Mr. Ronald. Okay.